Hey guys, Rock and Robo here with another Hero Coliseum battle. This time we are doing the Super Saiyan 4 deck. So that's both forms of Super Saiyan 4 Goku, both forms of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, this I'm not expecting this to go well. I'm basically starting a figure down near enough because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the original one, is garbage. But uh, playing against a good opponent, C Wimp. I've played uh, C Wimp a few times now, so I know that uh, and that FP doesn't lie. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Nice wig. Also, we've gone Super Saiyan Four for this one as well, just to enforce the theme. So it's Super Saiyan Four Pepper in there as well. So let's see what my opponent is running. Double Broly, Piccolo, Vados, and Toa. Well, this is going to be lovely. You have two of them. What? So basically, Piccolo is going to go down, and he's going to drop that behind it with Vados to make sure they don't die. Fantastic. I don't have anything that can sit in. Uh, I mean, I could sit. That's not exactly the team I was looking to run on the first turn, but okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting a Broly down the middle to try and punch something's face off. Wait. Wait. Why would you throw down a Piccolo and then put a figure in each lane? That doesn't make sense to me. Piccolo adds 5,000 to your master. You leave a lane open. Oh, well, I'm going first. That's not too big a deal, though. It does mean Piccolo will be dead, so the Master will be re relatively easy picking. Also, this Vegeta hits damn hard. He has over 7,000 attack. Come on, Gogeta. Christ, he had his speed swap, didn't he? Why did Gogeta have to be the one that got sacrificed? Oh, man, that sucks. He does at least take more damage from Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta now, though. This is not going to go well, is it? This is not going to go well at all. To his credit, Vegeta did quite a bit of damage there. Even that wasn't great damage on that Piccolo. This is not good. I was I was hoping for a better first turn than that. I don't even have any ultimate gauge down stuff in this team either, which is um, a bit of a disaster as well. What do I do next time? Might have to move Gogeta. Literally no point me keeping him in the uh, in the middle. I'm just worried that if you throw that double Broly down, you die <laughs> in one turn. Like, that could seriously become a meta deck at this point. You throw down the double Broly and, like, a Piccolo. Oh, God. Piccolo's just absolutely obliterated half of Gogeta's health bar there. Plus the rest that will come from this. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, sorry, I do have ultimate gauge down stuff. I have Goku in the back here, don't I? Okay. Um, I now have a completely useless Gogeta. Then again, does he have O1 skills on anything? No, he doesn't. Everything's an up second skill, so he's not relying on an ultimate to save the day. How fast is he? Can we get far slower? Let's try that. I can't have him getting those up second skills again this turn. That's what made sure that Vados... Well, Vados would have lived, I think, anyway, but... Um, 
Piccolo probably lived in part due to going no sec up second, because instead of me getting the benefits, he did. It's a big difference, so... Ah, oh, the Spirit Bomb. How I hate thee. I'm still faster. Come on, give him all fast ones. Nice! I know I'm going to lose Goku, but I don't really care. I'm going to take Vados down for sure. She might have lived this turn, I don't know. She still had half health, so... Haha. -ha. <laughs> Unfortunately, Goku is so dead, it's not even funny. And I'm not going to kill anything on the return, which is not good. This deck was done a lot like the waifu deck, just for a bit of fun. I I wasn't expecting to see a deck like this come up. I mean, I knew Piccolo Vados would still be around, but... You can take this, Goku. You're a Super Saiyan 4. Well done, Goku. Oh, go to hell. Where's my luck? I need some luck. Means Vados gets a clean hit on Super Saiyan 4 Goku now. I don't I don't think there's any way back for me. I really can't see a way. His figures just aren't taking any damage. At least Vados dies. No, no, come on. That is my luck, guys. That right there is my luck. She lived on 98 health. Now how? And why don't I get that? Okay, we go first, we kill a Broly, and we kill a uh, Vados. Yep, we're going first. That was the only way I had to play in this turn, because I needed go I needed Vegeta to survive, ideally. And I knew because of Gogeta, I would be so fast, I would probably be going first. This means Vados would definitely die here to Gogeta. Not going to change the fact that he's got crap attack still. <laughs> he only just managed that, really. Come on, Goku. Oh, come on, really? That's the best you got for me. Like, this is not fair. This is so not fair. Vegeta's got a bit more attack, but it's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. What stats on Super Saiyan 4 Goku got changed? Did he get his speed and attack swapped? Ouch. Well, that wasn't an ideal turn. Does he have ultimate gauge down? He does. Damn. Um, yeah, both of them got their speeds that swapped. Ah, oh, Jesus. What defense have you got? I need Gogeta to survive. I was not expecting him to play that. I'll give him that. He's won. That's Toa's work. Toa crippled probably my two best figures doing that. It don't matter. <laughs> I should have put Vegeta on the other side, but I was fearing him sticking someone up against uh, Gogeta and taking him out. And if I was going to win, I kind of needed him, just because of his speed now. What are you going to do about 150 damage? Oh, you did a thousand. I'll give you that. Mm. 
Oh, God. You know, I thought Toa would actually help to make decks with Piccolo and Vados sort of not work, but it actually seems to have exacerbated the problem. Because now I can't actually kill anything with fun decks. <laughs> Well, at least you managed to put a little bit of damage on the board, Vegeta. Actually, to be fair, I'm not quite dead yet. Because I don't think, unless he gets counter-attacks, Broly and Toa will be enough on their own, because that's the health version, so she doesn't have much attack. About 4,000? 2,000, okay. So it's not over yet. It might as well be, but it's not. <laughs> Oh, God. There's literally nothing I can do, because none of my figures have any attack anymore. Because the attack and the speed is linked. And I keep forgetting, if Broly's... If I've got a figure in the front row, Broly has to attack that. Can I at least get something out of this? If I do that, Goji is dead. But if I don't do that, I don't kill anything. We'll try this. I haven't really got a chance of winning regardless what happens, but I want to take down this Piccolo. I just, I, I, I want to take down this Piccolo. I need to. Hey! Spirit Bomb! That means I take down Piccolo. Things aren't entirely horrible. There we go. That's enough for us. You know what? I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna walk out of this with honor on my side. I've been against Vados, Piccolo, Toa, and the new Broly, which are two, are four of the most OP figures in the game now. I'd say. I mean, I've got Gogeta, so I can't really complain too much. But still, thank you. I needed a counter attack. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be Gogeta on his own. Against Broly and Toa. And unless I'm incredibly lucky, there's no way I can win this. Gogeta doesn't have any attack. There's literally no way for Gogeta to kill them because he can't he can't hurt anything. And there's no way that Goku's surviving this. Oh, <laughs> we live to see another turn, guys. How are we doing this? Can you not swap one of my figures back now? Are they permanently stuck like this? That's all I can do. I've got to try and stand up against him and hope that he just sticks with that. Because I can't do anything. Even if both Goku and Gogeta hit his master directly, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, he didn't get Spirit Bomb this turn. That's actually quite amazing. How am I doing this? My two figures here have been absolutely crippled. I know the Spirit Bomb has quite a a big part to play in this, but <laughs> we have fought on far longer than we had any right to, guys. Counter? I'd have liked two counter-attacks there, please. Even with two counters, we wouldn't have done jack shit. Uh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> Well, we did all we could, guys. But Toa just... Oh, man. I will say that game went on three turns longer than it should have done. I tried, but Toa crippled me. Does that mean a speed deck's now going to be meta again? Are you going to have to run speed decks now? I think you got to. You've got to run speed decks, but... With up second skills, possibly. This could be an interesting meta change, thanks to Toa. Because it's permanent, and it doesn't change it back. Because she completely crippled Gogeta and Goku in that game. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, hey, Sue Wimp. What you got to say? You're going to be on YouTube. I hope you what do you are you subscribed to me? I don't know. But uh No, it's looking like speed speed decks are the way to go. Slow decks just can't work because if you put a slow figure in there with a high attack, Toa just goes like that, snaps a finger and wham, you've got no attack. That is um That's interesting. We'll have to look and see what we can uh work with that. I feel like ones like Fu could actually be... I think Fu is going to have to become a very OP figure. Oh, you're welcome, J Swiss. I don't know what for, but you're welcome. Anyway, rambled on enough for that. That was a good game. Sea Wimp, if you're watching, loved it. Brilliant game. Love to play again. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum stuff. And I'll see you all next time.